Independent School District is the largest employer in Bethlehem County when nearly sun train 100 employees. Wow, that's a lot of employees. We are also a fast growth school district with enrollment of 16.1% since 2010. We have almost 11,000 students across 15 campuses. Wow, that's a lot of students. That's right, Elizabeth, and over the next 10 years, Fast Drop ISD is expected to grow by well over 3,000 students. Hi, I'm Steve Murray, the proud superintendent of Fast Drop ISD. And on August 15th, the Board of Trustees unanimously called for an $88.5 million bond proposition to be placed on the November ballot. The new bond proposal was recommended and approved after receiving feedback from many BISD parents and other patrons. The bond program we've created will allow the district to address student population growth, academic and extracurricular programming, and general facility needs. 75% of the bond projects are focused on instructional facilities and programming. Central to our plan is renovating and repurposing the facilities we already have in Bastrop ISD. Significant renovation is planned for Bastrop High School, such as hallway and classroom flooring, new lighting, paint, new doors, and improvements in other common spaces. The portables would be removed and 12 new classrooms added. We will also complete phase two of Cedar Creek High School to address instructional classroom space. To address growth, we will open a third middle school and expand the two existing middle schools to serve grades six through eight. The third middle school would be on the site where the Colorado River Collegiate Academy and Genesis High School are currently located. We will also expand to seven elementary schools of grades pre-K through five by repurposing Bastrop Intermediate School and Cedar Creek Intermediate School's facilities. Mina Elementary would move into the current BIS location and our seventh elementary would open up at the current CCIS location. Mina Elementary's current location would be renovated to accommodate the Colorado River Collegiate Academy and Genesis High School, as well as provide space for support services. 10% of the bond would be for maintenance, warehousing, and district operations, including a facility for fleet maintenance, groundskeeping, shipping and receiving, small engine repair, and record storage. 8% would be spent on extracurricular programming and multi-purpose facilities used by athletics, band, drill team, and other community purposes. This includes artificial surface for air hard field, practice field, BMS and CCMS, as well as track renovations for the middle schools. BHS baseball and softball complexes would be renovated with locker rooms, restrooms, and field improvements to resolve long-standing drainage issues. Finally, 7% would address infrastructure needs, including roofing, food service equipment, and technology. You know, you might ask, how does the bond affect you? The estimated maximum tax rate is 2.05 cents just over two pennies. For the average home in Bastrop ISD, this represents an increase of about $2 a month. Those 65 and older who have filed the over 65 exemption would not be affected by an increase in the school tax rate. To vote in the November 7th election, residents must be 18 years or older and registered voters within the district's boundaries. The deadline to register is October 10th, with early voting open from October 23rd to November 3rd. To learn more about the projects, how to register to vote, when and where to vote, and much, much more, please go to bisdtx.org. If you need additional information or have any questions, please call the Communications Office at 512-772-7143. Thank you.